going on guys will with gutter fighting secrets so what we're going to be doing for the next couple of saturdays is breaking down and analyzing some training footage that taylor and i shot during our private mma training sessions obviously when i'm at home stateside i usually like to train mma two three hours a day five days a week outside of that i put in the extra work by training with taylor and we've recorded some of our training sessions. We're gonna show you some of the drills that we like to do that are absolutely applicable for the streets as well. Cause I know like a lot of you out there, they only wanna see stuff that works in the streets, man. So I'll show you that, all right? And it's gonna be really fun. We're gonna analyze um, what the drills are, what they're doing, how do we make them better? And it's gonna be, like I said, really interesting to do it this way. I think. Everyone out there, including myself, is going to learn a lot by doing this. So with all that being said, let's skip the preamble and jump right into it. All right. So this is going to give you guys a really good introduction and yeah, introduction to our methodology that we train here at Gutter Fighting Secrets. What I always tell my newer students is <clears throat> learn how to throw straight punches and do them properly, right? A lot of the times what this is going to do is we really harp on being aggressive in a actual street altercation or conflict, right? It, you don't wanna just like, let them come to you and be defensive about it. Like that's what a lot of systems do, but no, all right? If you wanna actually win a real fight, like on the streets, you have to be fucking aggressive about it. And a lot of the times, if you just open up and say, I'm gonna be first and I'm gonna be aggressive and I'm gonna start throwing straight punches at them, right? Um, and I'm gonna do it with proper form and technique and protect myself while I do it, a lot of the times that's going to back them up right away. If not, end the fight right then and there. Uh, people aren't necessarily expecting you to just go crazy on the offense right out of the gate. Like they're going to expect you to like parry their punt or like dance around a little bit, do some sports shit. But like, no, like if you really find yourself in the middle of a dangerous situation with a potentially crazy individual, I need you to get aggressive right away and start just beating the fuck out of their face, right? Um, just go for it. So this is what this is simulating is um, right away, Taylor is not taking any chances and he is just going to start backing me off with these straight punches. But what happens if I'm also like a trained opponent and I start parrying these punches, okay? Um, he needs to have a good solid plan B, <laughs> To what the fuck he's going to do if the situation doesn't start going in his favor. Now, as you notice here, um, I'm parrying these punches and I'm immediately saying, fuck this, I'm shooting in, right? So again, this is something that is very common. Um, you'll start throwing punches at somebody. They'll say, fuck that, I'm going for the takedown, I'm shooting in. Right away, what he's going to do is he's going to either circle or sprawl or both. In this case, both. So if you'll notice, he circles around, he sprawls. And he immediately gets head control, okay? Now, in this case, he's been nice and he's pushing my head to the mat, right? But on the in a real combat situation, you're going to want to grab that head and push it down into the concrete, like full force, right? End him right there. Take it. And that's the level of fucking aggression that we actually need to win in combat, okay? Now, it doesn't matter if it's soft grass, if it's hard concrete, if it's a table, like... You will push his head down with such force, and that's the idea, and it doesn't always work like that, but the idea is once you've sprawled and this guy has shown his cards that he is a trained fighter, you need to take him out quickly. Now, obviously, here, he's nice. Again, like I said, he's gently pushing my head into the mat because I don't want any more brain damage than I already have from fighting, but um, even if for whatever reason, he's got like a crazy strong neck or something like that, and you are just forced to push his head down like that, you still then have your head control and you can move on to other techniques. If you notice there, he's got the opportunity for like police arm bar or like many other things, or just push the head down and like start wailing on the cervical spine right here, like in combat, like in combat, combat, where it's life or death, that that's what you would do. Um, he, he's got opportunities for a choke. There's the world is your oyster when you get behind somebody. And that's what this technique is drilling. So really when people say like, oh, MMA is not applicable for the street, they have no clue what they're talking about. They're just not, and it's not necessarily their fault. Cause I used to say the same thing years and years ago. 
they just are uninformed and they haven't had enough real world experience with violence um, to know that this stuff is actually literally, it just takes a shift in your mindset. That's literally all that it takes is shifting your mindset to realize fighting is fighting is fighting. Um, you don't have to like push the head down nicely. You can slam it. And then, you know, instead of choking them, you can hammer fist the back of their cervical spine or grab their eyes and fucking shove their head down more. And like, you, there's a lot. <laughs> and it takes becoming an aggressive animal. Um, and that's what we teach our students here at Gutter Fighting Secrets. It's, we use the Fairburn method of becoming an aggressive animal, learning how to exploit these, these situations that when you find yourself in a dominant position, it's not, it's not about points. You know, this is what the point system in combat sports originally came from is finding a dominant position to exploit it and kill your opponent. Now, again, I can't tell you to do any of that stuff because it's like fucking illegal. Don't ever try any of this at home. Right. But in real combat situation, if you were fighting a terrorist, this is what you would do. So as you can tell here at Gutter Fighting Secrets, our methodology, training methodology is all about aggression, training the aggression with proper technique. You have to have aggression first, followed by, by proper technique. Because you can be aggressive as fuck and get your ass beat. <laughs> but if you mix that aggression with um, scientifically solid training methodologies, and you really develop your skill set, and mix that with just pure rage and aggression and testosterone, even if you're a woman, this is what wins fights. Um, you know, you, you can't lie to people, right? You, you can, um, but you won't get away with it for that long. I know one thing, and that's for fucking certain, is that um, fights are all about who's got more power, who's got more size, power, aggression, and skill. Um, I'm nobody special. I'm just a guy who gets my ass beat in the gym all the time. But with that being said, I'm a guy who gets my ass beat in the gym all the time. So I know a thing or two about what it takes to win fights. I want you all to not get cheated. I want you all to not get fooled by snake oil salesmen and scammers out there who I don't even know why they do it, you know, because you don't make a lot of money in the martial arts business. You really don't. Maybe they want like people to think they're tough. Maybe they want people to like follow them. I, I don't know, but you know, unless you're actually getting in the cage and fighting or unless you like have a lot of credible experience, um, there's a lot that you might not know about fighting. It's really a lot simpler than it seems, but you have to go through uh, a lot of bullshit to really simplify it down a lot of the times. Well, any guys, I'm kind of rambling right now. I just, after I was finished editing this last part of the video, I went and did like a bunch of burpees and now I got to like eat. So I'm going to go, but I appreciate you watching. Please remember until next time that you are your first and last line of defense and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Guys.